What's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy Luke James. I'm back with another episode of Nintendo Rise video. Why are my intros always so weird? Anyway, we're going to be reacting to an animation about someone who doesn't feel pain. And I know what you're thinking. Luke, that would be amazing if you don't feel pain. But the thing is, yeah, I know it would be great if you don't feel pain. I think it would. But at the same time, I don't. Because say that you have like a metal pole and you just decide to go like this. Boom! Smash your arm on the pole and then you break your bone in the arm. You obviously, if you don't feel pain, you won't feel that. But it's still broken. <laughs> but before we get into the video, make sure you guys watch the whole way through. Because this is actually a pretty entertaining video. I watched like two seconds of it. So that's how I know the whole video is entertaining. Because I didn't watch the whole video, only two seconds. But anyway, before we watch the whole video, look what I'm wearing. Boom! Oh my gosh. I'm just thinking giving you guys quick sneak peeks look at it, it's stitched on this is good quality i'm just giving you sneak peeks i'm not saying anything else okay i like the color baby blue one of my favorite colors i think it is my favorite color now before we get into the into the video first a word from our sponsor i love doing that it just makes me feel so cool well hello there you're probably wondering what i'm doing outside on this fine winter day i'm drinking a glass of milk while i play a mobile game and you're probably wondering luke what mobile game are you playing and that my friends would be raid shadow legends why don't we go inside so i can show you guys the game but first if you guys want to download raid shadow legends for yourself just click the link in the description to download on your mobile device or your pc if you've heard about Raid Shadow Legends, you know there's tons of champions. Let's take a look at one of my favorites, Sir Galaroth, Guardian of the Arcane Keep. Unlike most of the other Potion Keep bosses, this dude is actually a pretty nice guy. All he's doing is guarding Arcane Potions and checking to see if you're worthy to get your hands on them. His main mechanic is his basic attack. It deals a ton of extra damage to any champion without buffs. So what you have to do is keep AoE buffs on your team at all costs. It seems easy, but the boss's left minion makes it more complicated. It will strip all your team's buffs every time it gets a turn. So you know what you gotta do? Take that sucker out first. Now I want to show you guys some things that I really like about raid. So if we hit battle on the bottom right, then click arena, we can play online against other people and I love online games. So over here on the left, we can press defense. So when you're not playing, other people can attack you and it'll show up here in the battle log. But let's battle someone. We're gonna battle I love happy. We're gonna select all of our champions. All right, and I'm gonna use this move right here. It's called acid rain and it attacks every single enemy. Boom. Oh my gosh, look at that. Almost got him already. Okay, we're gonna finish that guy off with the basic, basic move here. Boom. All right, we're gonna use Ed Bombish on this guy. And look, it also says, has a 15% chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn. So let's see if we get that. Boom. Oh, we don't even need that freeze debuff because we got him already. Look at that. There's a ton happening in Raid this month. Special events every day, a bunch of awesome new champions, and the brand new Guardian Ring that gives you a load of new ways to use your champions. And at the start of December, Raid's releasing one of its biggest, most anticipated features ever. Take a look at this. Looks insane, huh? With all these new updates and an even bigger one right around the corner, now is the perfect time to get started in Raid. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code on the screen and you'll get the epic hero Shinoru. You'll also get 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here in your inbox. But be quick because the rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players. I want to give a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this part. Now let's get right on into the video. All right. Hi, friends. Welcome Hello. How's it to going, the Here's My Story channel. Here's I'm my John. story. Last How's month, it going, John? I made the easiest $500 of my life. How'd you do that, there John? There was a film crew staying at my dad's hotel. They shot a Your few scenes a in the hotel restaurant. I was watching them work with a few of the waiters. They were trying to shoot this fight scene, but there was a problem. The oh, leading actor was inexperienced and didn't know how to punch the other guy without hurting him. <laughs> the director was showing him how to fake a punch, but the guy just couldn't get it right. He kept so he just throwing real punches. He just kept the knocking him out. was getting really what? angry. After the tenth take, one of the waiters pointed to me and said, "Actually, if you get the boss's son to play him, your problem will be solved." When the director asked, "What's so special about him?" the waiter replied, "You'll see it if you try him out." The director decided to go ahead and shoot the scene with me. What? Okay, so this director sees a random kid and he's just gonna let him get punched in the face? What? For movies and stuff, don't you have to like sign a whole bunch of waivers and stuff saying like the producer isn't responsible if you get hurt and stuff? But no, I think that's what's supposed to happen. But no, not in here, I guess. The producer's like, yeah, get him in there. Just let him get punched in the face. Like what? The lead actor kept doing the same thing. He was <laughs> punching me really hard. But for me, that wasn't a problem at all. Oh, because they couldn't feel it, eh? You know why? Because they couldn't feel it. I don't feel pain. I knew it. How did I the know? The guy could have been punching me the whole day. And but the thing is, like, yeah, you wouldn't feel pain. But this guy's going to wake up in the morning with black eyes. Like, look at He's got the bruises on already. <laughs> I wouldn't feel a thing. After the shoot, the director thanked me a million times and paid my actor's fee of $500. So how come all those punches didn't hurt me? Am I Quickest a Quickest 500 bucks ever. Of course not. I have a genetic disorder. It's a kind of disease. It's called CIP, which is short for congenital insensitivity to pain. 
People call it the not feeling pain disorder. There are about 400 people in the world who 400 have 400 only? I'm one of them. I never feel physical pain or super. aches. Let's say you accidentally... Okay, I know you guys would be like, oh, that would be so cool if you couldn't feel pain. But the thing is, like like I already said, you would still get the broken bone. And like in the winter, say you're like, oh, I can't feel pain. I'm just going to go jump in a snow pile. A snow pile? Yeah, a snow pile. What did I think it was? I don't know. Okay, but you jump in a snow pile and you're just chilling there. Literally chilling because it's cold out. Except you can't feel the pain. And then all of a sudden, you have hypothermia. But you don't know because you can't feel the pain. And then you got to go to the hospital. But you don't know because you can't feel the pain. You, you see what I'm getting to? Okay. You hit your th gonna smash his thumb. Thumb as you're hammering a nail. What and it happen? doesn't hurt. Obviously, it would hurt a ton. But when I do that, I feel nothing. Okay, because now that my brain would be doesn't handy. know what pain that is. That would be handy. And since it doesn't know what it is, it can't send the pain signal to my thumb. I don't because things like that, like smashing your thumb, like nothing's bad. Well, it depends how hard you smash it, but most people do do do. Ow, ow, ow. But no, he wouldn't feel that and he'd just go off and he wouldn't like damage his thumb permanently or anything. So that would be handy to have. Feel pain, but that doesn't mean that my body doesn't get hurt. Exactly. Once I stepped on a toy car that my baby. That's another thing. Stepping on Lego and things like that, you don't feel the pain and you don't get hurt. Like, you know what I mean? Other left lying around. It sent me flying six feet into the air six and feet. I landed on the floor really hard. Kay. I didn't feel any pain but i you was a unable to probably. stand up afterwards my dad took me to the hospital x-rays revealed that i had multiple fractures in both legs from stepping on a toy in car? bed for three months Poor with guy. huge casts holy you from might a toy imagine car? that it would be really nice to never feel pain but don't be jealous of me this is definitely not a good thing it's super dangerous to live without pain let me give you a few examples let's hear it let's say hear it. you're at a restaurant the waiter brings you a delicious pizza. That's another you thing. immediately take a huge bite. But the pizza is too hot because it just came out of the oven. What do you do? You wait until it cools it down. It drinks the milk. If you don't, you'll burn your mouth. And that's Wait, but why is he doing that if he can't feel it? Eh? Hey? He's making up crap. Just kidding. No, he's not. Exactly my problem. No matter how hot the pizza is, my mouth doesn't hurt. I keep eating the scalding hot pizza. Inevitably, I get deep burns inside my mouth. However, I don't feel any of them. I still end up hurting myself. I mean, my body. As you can see, pain is actually our guardian angel. It keeps us from hurting ourselves. Pain is also our teacher. But if you can't feel the pain, how do you hurt yourself, eh? No, that was bad, I know. Teaches us how to go about doing physical activities without hurting our bodies. And it starts... Wait, so does that mean if this guy's like... If he went sprinting for like five minutes, would he not feel that? He'd probably get tired. Okay, what, what was I trying to say? Like, you don't get pain when you run. Well, actually, I don't know. Depends what... No, because he said, like, the neurological things don't send pain. But, like, running, that's like... <gasps> so he'd still get tired. Okay, sorry. Just to clear things up here. That's when we are children. I'll give you another example. Yes, let's hear it. You're I like riding these your bike at the playground. And you hit you a tree. You don't realize you're going too fast. You hit something and fall off the bike. You st well, how do you realize you're not going fast? You can't feel pain, but you still have, like... Can't you still tell how fast you're going? Like crying because you hurt yourself. This feels bad in the moment, but the next day, you're so much more careful on the bike. And who did you learn that from? Pain. pain. Of course. You I knew it. You learned how to ride a bike without hurting yourself thanks to the pain you felt. <laughs> because there was no concept of pain in my life, I had a pretty dangerous childhood. When I was Reckless. a baby, my family had no idea I had this condition. Since I never cried, my mom was telling her friends, Never cry. John is such a calm baby. He doesn't cry even when he falls. One even when he falls? Are they just launching him across the room? What? He shouldn't be falling, should he? Like they should be protecting him, not dropping him. <laughs> took me to the playground. I climbed up the slide. And he a fell kid off? pushed me from behind. Oh and I fell and goodness. landed on my head. My mom ran to me in a panic. She screamed, John, are you okay? Of course. But I laughed and said, Mom, falling is way more fun than sliding down. Can I climb up and jump down again? What? My mom was obviously That's confused. Crazy. She took me to the hospital and <laughs> found out that my arm was broken in two places. Well, when the doctors saw that it. I wasn't hurting despite the fractures, they thought that wasn't normal and ran a series of tests on me. Finally, they figured out that I had this insensitivity to pain. The year I started elementary school, I had to change schools because of my condition. My mom came to the school and told my teacher that I had CIP. If John falls down and breaks something, mm. he wouldn't know it. Please keep an eye on him. My teacher thought it would be better if my friends knew about this as well. Oh, but he's sad. Everyone was really surprised. When no, I was about to say that they were going to bully him, but no. They were going to think he has superpowers. That I Maybe. didn't we'll feel see. any pain. Word spread around the whole school. Now people really are going to start punching him. During recess, I went outside. Older kids came up to me. They started pinching my yep. nose and Bullies. twisting my ears to test me. 
Well, it didn't hurt, but I was still uncomfortable. But they wouldn't stop. I had to change schools after that. We didn't make the same mistake twice. At my new school, we didn't tell anyone about my condition. Not even the teachers. Well, you shouldn't have to tell them, right? Like, I don't know. Like, what are you going to be doing in school? Jumping off the tables? Like, you shouldn't be hurting, breaking anything in, this, in the classroom. You're just sitting there. So I don't think you would need to tell the teacher, but I don't know. Before I continue with... I'm not in his shoes, so I can't act on his... Or I can't say things on his behalf. My story. Let me ask you for a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video, what please do you want me hit to do? the like button Drop and a like. subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. You heard him. Thanks so much. I know he's talking about his video, so but far, you guys should do the same I've to told me. You Thank you very much. only about the disadvantages of having this condition. That's are there rude. I'm good sorry. sides to if it? You of course, are enjoying I the never video. get Drop headaches. Like. Thank you. If someone steps no on headaches? my foot in the crowd, it doesn't hurt. But your shoes, if you're wearing white shoes. If I work out for hours, I have zero muscle pain the next day. Okay. Once, when I was in junior high, we took a field trip to a farm. One of the staff members was giving us a tour of the place when we came to the beehives he wanted to show us a honeycomb full of honey but as he was taking the honeycomb out of the hive yes, he stop. dropped it and the bees nope. got really mad suddenly hundreds of bees attacked us kids started running away but the bees stung everyone anyway the farm suddenly <laughs> looked like oh, a yeah. battlefield dozens of kids were lying on the floor and crying well, let me i was guess. the only one yep. who remained calm How i got did I know? stung too but it didn't hurt me my friends were really surprised I lied oh, to them and said, for and now some they know. reason, I didn't get stung. Oh, no, in don't. fact, I got stung in multiple places because I didn't bother running away like everyone else. <laughs> I benefited from having CIP once again last year. I was playing frisbee in the park with a girl I have a crush on. A pit bull ran up to me from behind what? and bit me on my butt. If what I had been a heck? normal person, I would have been holding my butt, screaming at the top of my lungs oh, he's and impressing the girl. embarrassing myself Watch this. in front of this girl. But when the dog bit, I felt nothing. And the when like, the pit bull gosh. sped off and disappeared, Listen. the girl ran up yep. to me and asked, are you okay? That was a really bad bite. I was so cool when I answered her. Oh, no, that. that was nothing. Just a nip. It was obviously a serious bite that would have hurt anyone else. My, my crush was so impressed with me that day. I just remembered another example. I had an issue with my pancreas. Doctor said I had to have an emergency surgery. I had it scheduled for the next morning. The doctor in charge knew that I had CIP. We won't give you anesthesia since you won't be feeling pain anyway, he said. But the anesthesiologist had no idea about this decision. She put the anesthesia mask on my face before I could say anything and put me to sleep. But for some reason, I would rather be sleeping. Like, even though you can't feel the pain, wouldn't you rather be sleeping? Like, I am sensitive to those things. Like, oh, like woke up in the middle of the surgery. My belly was cut open. See? I looked like a total zombie. When I made eye contact with the anesthesiologist, I smiled and said hello. She screamed so loud <laughs> that scared? I can't even begin to describe it. She had a right to be scared. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Supposed to be passed out just hello. <laughs> oh my god. Because I had woken up during surgery and I was all smiles, no pain. When my doctor told her I had CIP, she calmed down and had a good laugh about it. After that, I got to watch the rest of the surgery. See, I could not do that. I could not. I would be like, oh. Your stomach's wide open. Like I might be the first and only person in medical history to witness surgery being performed on them. As I was going to the hospital for follow-up exams, I met a woman who had the same condition as me. According to her, having CIP Back has two heaven. important benefits for women. There's only 400 people out of the whole 7 billion people. And this person met one at the hospital just randomly? They don't feel menstrual pain. This is a great thing because, as you know, women have to deal with menstrual pain every month. Another advantage women with CIP have is that they give birth without feeling any pain. According to some experts, labor pain is the most intense in the world. Therefore, women with pain insensitivity are really lucky in that way. So what causes this condition? Who has it? Unfortunately, there are no answers to these questions Gen yet. Genetics. But scientists agree that it's a genetic disorder. See? They even identify scientists the loop. gene that causes it. But since very few people in the world have this condition, pharmaceutical companies don't spend money to develop drugs for it. So there's no cure for this disorder. I have to live with this condition all my life. Well, Many people with CIP don't live very long. As I said earlier, aches and oh, pains they are can't our guardian pain, angels. So they do it's things? really Is dangerous to live without them. You are so not. lucky to know. feel them. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you found my story interesting. But like, wouldn't you think... Okay, I can't put myself in this guy's shoes because obviously I haven't dealt with it. But like, wouldn't you think you would rather not feel pain than feel pain? I mean, like I said, I haven't been in his shoes, so maybe it's the complete opposite if I was there. But like, I know like... Oh, but I just thought of something. If you like get in the bathtub and the water is like so hot, 
you'd be like burning your skin and you wouldn't even know. See, those are the things that would be like scary, but like just be careful about those things. Okay, I know I can't say that because I'm not in his shoes. I can't just say like, yeah, just do better. Like it, I can't say that. But for things like stubbing your toe and like stepping on Legos and even if you like fall when you're like snowboarding like I did and break your wrist, you were still gonna fall and break your wrist anyway. You just wouldn't feel it. So, you know. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let's change up this uh, outro. Comment below what you found funny about the video or sad or interesting as a matter of fact. Drop a like if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.